Hi. Um, my name is Lynn. And um, I lost my son six months ago. Uh, he passed away. And um, I wrote this, uh, I don't know, a few months after he died. And it's called, What Not to Say to a Grieving Mom. What not to say to a grieving mom, a relative, the day after my son died. Be strong, keep your head up, be an example for others. An example for who? I'm the only one I know who just lost their one and only child, an example for who? Who am I? Identity is a conundrum when the one you love most no longer lives, breathes, or stands at your side. Experts say, I'll never be the same, but when I hear my name, I still feel like me, so who am I? All I know is wherever I go, my heart is utterly broken. I grieve and I cry, I sigh and ask why. Sometimes I feel like my heart might die. So in this moment, with this relative, who do I choose to be? Me. I am related to this person, but I refuse to buy, to buy the robotic soldier lie. I'm a human being and human beings cry. What not to say to a grieving mom? Acquaintances, weeks after my son died. Are you better? Better? I was not sick. When will you be able to, when? Grief has no timeline. You look good. Are you doing good? Good? My son just died. Who am I? Identity is a conundrum when the one you love most no longer lives, breathes, or stands at your side. Experts say I'll never be the same, but when I hear my name, I still feel like me, so who am I? All I know is wherever I go, my heart is utterly broken. I grieve and I cry, I sigh and ask why. Sometimes I feel like my heart might die. So in these moments, with these random people and their perplexing, head-scratching questions, who do I choose to be? Me. Their expectation baggage does not belong to me. What they expect, I don't accept. It's not my property. What not to say to a grieving mom, the cemetery. We want to build a gazebo where we promise to bury your son. Contract is void, pick a new plot, sorry. Was I just told the plot I bought for my son's casket got stolen by a gazebo? Who do they think I am? Who do I think I am? Am I still my son's mother in the absence of his presence? I am. Am I still brave, bold, and all the things my son admired and loved about me for 19 years? I am. So in this moment with Mr. Cemetery Man, who do I choose to be? Me. Did I originally race down there like NASCAR? Vow and threaten to make him suffer? I did, that's me. Did I later apologize, hug him, and thank him for everything? Yes, I did. Apparently, that's new me. So who am I? I'm the one who charged make it right and demanded a free bench at my son's now second grave site. And to my delight, he made it right. In two weeks' time, that bench was mine. And there I sat upon a $5,000 magnificent masterpiece exceeding expectation, free, no cost to me. Glossy, glassy, gorgeous granite, moonlight, white veins, dark as night, speckled gold gleaming when light hits it right, big black bold letters engraved left and right. My son's name seen afar even at night. Unfortunately, cemetery mishaps had only just begun. You see, the gazebo was not the only one. Two mishaps later, I got a free plot next to my son. So I just might be the only one the only one alive anyway, to get free cemetery goods worth over 8K, who lived to tell about it to this very day. And this was what not to say to a grieving mom.